Welcome to season three of the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. This is episode 22. I'm doing the Seven Bridges Trail in Colorado Springs. We've got a beautiful day. I've got my new GoPro camera and we're gonna see what's going on. It's a 3.7 miles round trip and a little over a thousand feet elevation gain. This is gonna be a good one. Don't go anywhere. So it looks like you have to park in the uh, dirt parking lot and then walk up 0.7 miles. And then this is the beginning of the trailhead right here. There's no sign whatsoever, but if you have any kind of GPS, then you can determine that you've gone 0.7 miles. And you can clearly see there's a trail up here. It's gotta be the right one. So if you try to hike this trail, just know that it's a little bit tricky finding the beginning of it. I'm gonna keep on moving. So if you're doing this trail anytime soon, it is a bit icy. I'm barely a mile in and I already had to stop and put my traction on. It's kind of a packed icy snow. And I did notice there's another entrance to the trail. It's a big wooden stairway. So if you see that big wooden stairway, then that's another way to get on. So here we go, I'm about a mile in. I got another couple miles to go. Uh, should be a good video. Thanks for watching. this new GoPro camera it's got an instant uh, instant on feature where you just hit the record button and it automatically turns it on and puts it in record mode which is really cool the only downfall I see is that it doesn't zoom in very smoothly so you kind of have to just zoom in and then pan you can't really zoom in and out but I can work around that if anybody has hiked this trail before I'm dying to know where bridge number one was at <laughs> maybe you could post in the comments section let me know how I missed, managed to miss the first bridge. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna keep on going. Bridge number four, this hike's going pretty quick. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick GoPro tip. I didn't have any of the accessories that I needed, so I went to the store today to pick some up, the little, the little handle and whatnot. So I went to Target and they charged $40 just for the handle and $50 for the adventure kit. And I was like, nah, I don't think so. So I went to Walmart and they have this similar adventure kit and it even comes with a carrying case for 20 bucks and um, I'm impressed with it for $20 you can't beat it I don't know who wants to spend $40 just for a handle but those kind of ripoffs bother me a bit so this is bridge four we're gonna keep on moving here we go This hike is gonna go faster than I expected, but something came to my mind. I'm starting to get familiar with the different cameras and whatnot, and I thought I'd let you know 
my opinions on all of them. So I normally use my Sony Handycam on these hiking uh, videos and I love it. Zooms in really well. Uh, I thought the stability was pretty good, but I think this GoPro has even better stability than that. I love the instant on feature of this GoPro. As far as doing my coffee videos, I use this Logitech webcam that plugs into my computer. And they recently started branding their videos with L-O-G-I on anything that you use to record. And that rubs me the wrong way. Because I paid for the video recorder, so I don't feel like they have the right to just put their logo on there like that. And then I use the uh, Blue Snowball microphone because the Logitech microphone isn't that good. And I'm not impressed with that blue snowball microphone either. You gotta get really up close to it as if you're talking on a radio show or something. So I would recommend the Sony Handycam. I love that. And so far I love this GoPro. I hope this has been helpful. Let's keep on going. time for a segment I like to call Jason's favorite things I've got two favorite things today as you know as some of you know I'm camping until Christmas Eve at the Mountaindale RV Resort in Colorado Springs so I've got about three and a half more weeks and I've been cooking brats over the fire and it is awesome so that's number one brats over the fire number two is definitely this GoPro this instant on feature is amazing with the handy cam I have to open it and then open the lens and then hit record and with this GoPro all I have to do is hit record it turns on and it's recording within four or five seconds so this has been Jason's favorite things <laughs> like we made it and it looks like it keeps going <laughs> so I'm gonna assess the situation and decide what to do don't go anywhere all right here's the situation apparently if I keep on going it's another 1200 feet in elevation gain which is more than double what I just did <laughs> uh, but it goes to the top of Mount Kenyo which is supposed to be 360 degree views so I'm gonna go a little bit higher and see how much gas I've got left in the tank, but that's the situation. I'm gonna head at least into the sun and see if I can get a few more uh, good video clips. So here we go. I found it on my All Trails app. It is Kenyo Mountain via the Seven Bridges Trail. And it's six miles round trip, almost 2,000 feet in elevation gain. So I'm going for it. <laughs> I've got good energy this week. So here we go. Uh, this is going to be an adventure, and I'm probably going to smash an entire pizza when I get back to the campsite, because I deserve it. <laughs> Here we go. Another thing I love about this GoPro is it seems to have a really wide-angle lens, so I can fit a lot of stuff into the frame, even though it's pretty close up to me. So that's one feature that I think it has over the Handycam, the Sony Handycam, although that Sony Handycam does zoom in a long ways. so give and take a little bit but i'm gonna keep on moving here we go
check this out. Is this ridiculous or what? I don't know if I've been to a more beautiful spot. This uh, mountain is kind of eroding pretty bad. It's almost like walking up a sand dune. It's actually eroding right now. <laughs> and uh, it, it's crumbling down on top of the snow even. Super weird, but this is beautiful. You gotta get out here and check this out. I've got good energy today. I can't wait to get to the top. Let's get it on. Guess we'll try this walking and talking thing since I got a new device today. Um, and my hair might be crazy. I'm camping, so I haven't showered in a few days. But um, that Sony Handycam has really good sound quality. And I've got a feeling this GoPro is not gonna be as good, even though I think it'll be good enough for these videos. But that was just one quick thing I thought of while I'm walking. So I'm gonna turn this around and see how that works. Boom. All right. We're making progress. Here we go. So we've kind of reached a fork in the road and this trail goes all kinds of different ways but it looks like we need to take this really really hard right over here there's not really a sign for it i just see some foot tracks footprints in the snow so just be aware that once you come to the fork in the road it is a little bit tricky here we go <music> taking a break <laughs> wanted to say a quick thank you to all my new YouTube subscribers my channel has tripled in the last 40 days and I'm extremely grateful I really appreciate it I put a lot of hard work into these videos and uh, it definitely doesn't go unnoticed I appreciate it a ton so welcome to the Nash potatoes outdoor channel I hope you like it if you have any tips tricks advice um, just leave it in the comments section or send me a message on Facebook, something along those lines. But um, I'm gonna take another couple minute break and keep on moving. Here we go. <music> making progress the footage I just took of that bird I actually took with my handy cam my Sony handy cam because I knew I'd have to zoom in really far but uh, that was a cool bird I don't know what it is but uh, I think I'm coming up over a ridge here so I'm gonna try and get footage of this 
as I go. Check it out, we made it. Mission accomplished, baby. This is unreal. Oh, I'm beat. Should be able to go all the way around, man. Kinyo Mountain, or maybe it's pronounced something different, but this is awesome. Definitely worth the hike. A couple of trees in my way. There it is, baby. Woo. I love it. I think I found the first bridge. <laughs> I took those wooden stairs on the way down back towards the car. And here it is. This has got to be number one. The cool thing about this hike is that you can just do the seven bridges, which is a thousand feet elevation gain, 3.7 miles. Or you can go all the way up to Kineo Mountain, which is 2,000 feet elevation gain and six miles altogether. So you can uh, take your pick. I got to the top of the bridges and had loads of energy, so I made it to the peak of the mountain. But hope you enjoyed this video. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching episode 22 of the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. I wanted to give a special thanks to Daisy for recommending this hike. This was amazing. I couldn't have done it without you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.